Mark, unacceptable result tonight. How do you reflect on it? Yeah, dif a difficult evening. Um, another bright start from us for the first 10 minutes. And then look, we're, ma we're making some real, real errors at the moment. Um, it's not time for finger pointing at anyone because we need, we need to stick together. We need to pick each other up um, because moments in the game we're not handling well at the moment. And that's, that's due to confidence. That's not due to heart or passion because everyone's give it, giving their all. But uh, at the moment, we're, we're looking shell-shocked when something don't go well for us in the game. Um, you know, before we were defending situations a lot better. Um, now when one seems to hit our net, it, it, takes, it takes us off, off our game plan, um, not focusing enough then. And then, and then it's like a, a bit of a vicious circle where we're leading from one mistake leads to another. So, look, we're making some very bad errors at the moment, but those errors are not in anything other than probably caring too much and probably uh, you know the tensions of the game at the moment which the, we're all going through is sometimes having a harsh reality for us you know and when we see those goals go in it's, it's, it's deflating for the group at the moment so this is the the time now for a bit of calm a bit of clarity we need to find our find our confidence again and the only way to find that confidence is through keep working hard keep practicing and um learning through this, this experience. Um, it's, it's not going to be easy and we're going to have to support each other the best we can in, in there. I understand there's going to be massive frustrations and you're exactly right, that, that result is unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. Um, but we'll only make us more determined to put this right. Um, you've had to wait quite a while for this interview tonight. I know I apologise because we've had a, you know, a, a big discussion in there and... I think everyone's in no uncertain terms what we got to do and how we got to stick together. So sometimes uh, you've got to hit rock bottom. This needs to be the bottom of the bottle now. Um, but it gives us absolute clarity going forward of the non-negotiables, um, what we expect, the roles and responsibilities of being a professional footballer at this football club um, and the never-say-die attitude that we've got to show, never give up. We've got to show that fight and that passion, which... Um, I know looks like it's not always evident out there because of the frustrating frustration of the result. The players are trying, they are giving it everything, but that's still not enough. We need more. I know that, but we've um, we've got we've got to be a little bit careful because there's a young group out there at times. Um, but on a night like this, it's hard to take positives. I'm you know I'm struggling here to find positives from the night, apart from we probably got a rest into Kevin Locko out of, you know, we couldn't do the three games with him. Lewis Kinsella should hopefully be back. Um, we have got another player joining us next week. Um, we've got some minutes into Mo Betema. So, you know, there is there is some positives in and around in and around the uh, around the club going forward. Um, but at the moment it's hard it's hard to find any any positives. We're all bitterly disappointed. We're all hurting. But it's it's time to for me to stand strong and and take the flak, which we rightly deserve. Or you know, but aim it at me, um, and my players will come through this stronger and better for it. Um, but I can't I can't we can't keep waiting for them to learn these harsh lessons because the the pressure and the tension is only going to build, and uh, we've got to stand up and be counted. What do you think the main problem is at the minute? Obviously, we had that really good run earlier in the season and obviously, you know, that was when we were playing with confidence and now, like you said, it's maybe the lack of confidence we're lacking it. Do you think that's the main concern going forwards? Yes, absolutely. Lack of lack of confidence at the moment. Lack of confidence makes you fuzzy-headed when something goes wrong. You know, like I said, it was a, it's a shell shock feeling for, around the group at the moment and sometimes you need a few bombs to go off to learn how to deal with them and they're, they're certainly going off at the moment. But you, you better deal with it quickly because... Uh, you know, they'll eventually blow you up. So we, we need to make sure that we um, we learn quickly and come out of it. Um, but look, we've um, we've got to dust ourselves down. We've got to get back onto that training pitch. We've got to iron out a few creases. That is for sure. Um, but we've we've got to stick together more than ever now. I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? Obviously, you know, we're on this terrible run at the minute. You know, we could come out and criticise moments in the game, but ultimately, that's not really going to help anyone other than you know opposing teams we come up against. Yeah, absolutely, and. Look, they're uncharacteristic or at the moment characteristic errors and that, that, that's the worry but those errors are, are, are happening because of 
the mentality at the moment. So we've got to work more on our mentality rather than anything else because if you have a, a clearer head, a more functional head, you make better decisions, less rash decisions, which we're seeing out there at the moment. Um, you know, all of them were mistakes. All of them masters their own downfall. And then Torquay got their tails up and they got some very good experienced players in that team. Um, and then all of a sudden they're, 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 they look like they're running right at times. So... Um, Look, we, um, we've we got to break the cycle, we've got to break the chain, and we do that by understanding our roles and responsibilities, sticking to, sticking to our guns, and focusing second in, second out, because we can only manage the next five seconds of a game, and at the moment we can't get strangled by what's happened before or what we're scared of what might happen in the future. You've got to play in the present, and we've got to firmly train in the present, be in the present, and work on our, our mentality and our mindset, because that's the only way it's going to get through us. We've gone on a great run. We hit rock bottom before. We have gone on a, on a great run before. We know what we've got to do to do that. We know what characteristics we showed in them periods and we've got to see them again and we've got to see them now. Um, you know, Loco, Kinsella coming back will, will help that because they've been there, done it and been around it and they're big voices on the pitch. And that's what we need at the moment. We need characters, we need voices, we need energy um, and no sulkers, no one feeling sorry for themselves because only us can get ourselves going again, and, and we will. And I said to them, they will be stronger for this. Um, I know we're causing a lot of hurt at the moment, first and foremost to our, ourselves, but more importantly to our fans who are travelling to watch us, and they turn up and they want to see us win. And at the moment they're seeing you know, some schoolboy calamity moments from us. Um, so we've got to cut them out. We've got to cut the individual errors out. But to cut an error out, sometimes pointing the, black, the obvious out all the time. But people know they're not meaning to make them. Um, it's important that we just keep trying to train that out, but train that out physically, technically, but also, more importantly, mentally at the moment. Of course, you went with a more attacking lineup. Obviously, you've gone with 3 4 3. Chamber has been pushed higher up. Alfie Saunders has come in. Obviously, Brad Webb's filled in at left back. What was the thinking behind those changes? Yeah, obviously, we've, we've you know, a couple of knocks and injuries and, and players. That was the, the players we could get onto the pitch. And um, we felt Chambo's physicality. Hopefully the game at the start where we could try and stretch the game, getting behind him with his pace and his power and his, and his height. And, and again, we started brightly the first 10 minutes. You know, we forced the free kick right on the edge. Keeper saved it well. With crosses. We had good regains, good energy. And then the moment comes. And then we, we've got to break that chain. We can't keep saying that moment comes. You know, we had some good moments. But, every, you know, if nothing's happening with our moments and they get one and we don't deal with it right, then we're... We are very naive and, um, you know, that, that that's what we can't afford to be. Do you think that comes from it being a relatively youthful squad as well? Do you think that maybe needs a bit more experience there at times? Obviously missing the likes of Kins and Kev Locker at times as well. Those players will certainly help, that is for sure. You know, players that have been there, done it, can help steady the ship a little bit quicker. Um, but we've always been youthful full season. We can't use that as an excuse because they're getting, they're, everyone's having an opportunity, everyone's having a lot of games. Um, Everyone's getting a lot more experience, but look, this, this is what we are. We're not going to make excuses. We're going to find solutions. Um, we're going to continue to work hard. I look forward to seeing my more experienced players back in and around it as well to help us, because at the moment we need everyone. And um, like I said, we, we, we know that we're lacking some goals at the moment, and it's quite clear, you know, if we could strengthen in certain areas, we could, but you've got to make sure it's the right person. Players to improve us don't don't grow on trees. Uh, everyone's after, you know, a goal scoring nine. Um, we're doing everything we can. You know, the chairman's fully supportive of that, trying his best <laughs> to, to to help aid us find one. That is that is for certain. You know, yeah, everyone's doing everything they can behind the scenes to really push that on. Um, we have got one, which hopefully will be coming in 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 next week. He's away on international duty at the moment. Um, and, you know, the window's open till Thursday lunchtime. But, you know, we've got a group here going through some real, learning some real harsh lessons and real harsh life lessons as well. On the other side of that is real growth. I just really want to see it sooner rather than later. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, we've got to focus on what's on the building at the moment. We always look to improve, we always look to try and get better. But at the moment, we've got to improve what we've got here. We've got to improve and get better all the time. And um, I'm sorry we're not showing those, those steps that I want to show at the moment. Um, but it only makes us more determined to get there. You've been here as a player, now you're here as a manager, so you understand the fans' frustration. You know it more, you know more than any people, more than most people. So, you know, the thing we ask them is, you know, as frustrating as it is, 
you know support us along the way and we will do our best to hopefully get back back where we, where we belong yeah look I, can, I can't I can't ask for their support at the moment you know because results haven't been there for them and they're, they're paying good money because they want to see us come and win so I can't ask or beg for their support at the moment I've I've got to get this group winning games of football we've got to win their respect we've got to win their hearts and minds um, I know that I'm not naive to that and we're only going to do that by working harder and never giving up and on, like I said on the other side of hardship is always, is always growth you know I've, I've, that's one thing life has, has taught me and uh, tough times like this I, I've got to stand tall and have broad shoulders and take it and I will and you know aim it at me not at the players because th you know they can be forgiven for mistakes because they're, lear they're learning and they're learning a lot at the moment we just got to make sure we get the balance right and the reaction quick <laughs> Yeah. So you say quick, obviously Saturday, next game, ultra away, another tough test. Yeah, always another tough test, but there's no shining away, no backing away now. It's meeting it head on. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we again, the game can't come quick enough. I know I'm repeating myself again, but we've just got to keep getting out there and keep riding the storm and getting through it. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.